Audrey, this is Charcoal, and I also have a cat named Aslan, but he's not here right now. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining for my 100 day project. Today is day 71, and I'll be painting some corn. I am like fully in fall or autumn mode, however you call it. Um, yeah, I am, I am so ready for fall, <laughs> super, super ready. Um, I do want to take a moment and just kind of remember today, though, because it is September 11th and, um, you know, I don't know if you were, you know, even even born before, um, you know, at that time or even remember or maybe you do have um, some memories of it. So if we can just take just like, you know, um, a moment like while we're doing our breathing exercise, just to take a moment of silence. Um, yeah, I mean, I personally don't have um like like i personally didn't lose anybody but i know that my mom was actually supposed to fly into new york that day that morning and so i distinctly remember um yeah the just the news of her having to be rerouted and then um like it was definitely scary because yeah nobody knew like what was going on and um, like I was just in high school, so now you know how old I am, <laughs> but yeah, I was just in high school and I, like, I had to go to go home to an empty house because my mom, you know, was flying in. My dad was already out of the country. And then the, um, our family friends who were taking care of us had to leave and drive down to Atlanta to pick up my mom. And so my brother and I were home alone for a while and it was, it was definitely scary times. I mean, that's just my personal experience and I don't know, you know, what your personal experiences were, but yeah, as we do our breathing exercise in just a moment, if we can, you know, have um, a moment of silence during that time to just just remember those who have fallen, remember those who have, um, who were the first responders, um, and yeah, and just those who have lost their lives. So we can just do that for a second. bring us back together yeah so again thank you for being here and if you're gonna be painting along with me you know I'm really glad that you're taking this time to um, yeah to create to focus on your creative health your mental health I'm sure it's tied to that and I don't know about you but it's also tied to my emotional health and um, the whole idea behind painting with mindfulness or this title of my 100 day project watercolor with mindfulness is that you know you're really trying to get lost in the process of creating or painting and if it helps you know maybe turn off your phones or you know turn off the notifications i mean i don't know how you're watching this live stream so maybe if you're watching it on your phone don't turn off your phone but um 
yeah, just taking a moment to kind of like silence the noise around you. Like, like, you know, as much as I love charcoal on my desk and on my lap, like I will put them on the floor just so that I'm not distracted. You know, if it helps, if you have a room that you can paint in, maybe close the door so that other people in your household know not to bother you just for half an hour. You know, I think you deserve that time to create. So yeah, just take a moment to do that as you kind of transition into getting into creative mode. So, uh, let me see. What am I doing? Okay. Well, charcoal, I love you. <laughs> he like really doesn't want to leave. Oh, okay. Well, as cute as you are, you have to go. Okay. I'm going to put you on the floor. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys miss charcoal. <laughs> okay. So let me just put him down for a sec. All right. Well, I did sketch. Uh oh, hold on a second. I forgot to turn my camera on. Oh, goodness. This is what happens when it's been such a long time since you since since you, um, you know, painted or went live. You forget a couple things. <laughs> so let me just set up my station while you are probably doing that, too. One second. I also have to zoom and focus. There we go. Those are the raspberries that I painted last week. <sighs> yeah. And today I'm going to paint some corn. I don't know if you guys can see the sketch. I had to sketch it with really light colors. But as I was thinking about what to paint today, I was like, wait a second. There's like a lot of detail on these corn and I know I can simplify it. I know I can make it like, you know, like really easy. But I thought about maybe, you know, remember when I was doing like mixed, excuse me, mixed media like a while ago and so i thought about bringing out my watercolor pencils and maybe adding some details that way so let's see how that goes yeah hi linda hi keith okay so let's take a moment just to catch up on the chat sorry you guys okay so linda so in your neighborhood there were three firemen oh wow and police officers and your next door neighbor was um, was two, you're having breakfast meeting at the tower, or they were having a breakfast meeting at the tower with the restaurant that was on the top, but it was called off. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they weren't in the building. That's, um, that's good. I'm glad that they were spared. Um, oh, Keith, you're in New York. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You guys are both on the East coast. Yeah. I've actually never lived in New York, but I, I, I visited the city like once, I think maybe twice, at least once. Um, I remember in college we did. Yeah, I know we all have like very distinct memories probably, especially if you were, you know, like older than like five, you know, um, by 2001, you probably remember like that day or the days, you know, afterward. And um, yeah, so, so I just wanted to take a moment just to remember that. Cause I think as years go by, sometimes we forget um, so some of the things that like shape us, you know, and in this case, it was an event that shaped our history, you know, and I think it changes, um, and, and I don't want to get into the politics of it all. Okay. So that's not what this platform is for, but, um, I know that, um, yeah, I know that for me, like I sometimes forget some of the things that have happened to me because it's, it's, it's hard to think about the bad stuff, you know, like no one wants to dwell on the bad things that happened to you, but at the same time, it makes you who you are, you know, like it or not. And I know that for me, a lot of the personal things that I've been through in the last like 10 years or so, I, I don't like to dwell on them. I hate to think about them, but at the same time, I actually wouldn't literally be here right now if it weren't for those things. And I wouldn't be talking to you like this with so much confidence if I didn't go through like the fire, you know? Um, and I think it's the same, like even on a grander scale, like our country, like we sometimes have to go through hard stuff in order to come out stronger, in order to be more united. Um, Okay, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I don't wanna get too crazy. Okay, 
Um, yeah, Keith, you were in junior high school, algebra class. Exactly. You'll never forget. Yeah. I mean, I was in my world history class. Yeah. We walked in and the TVs were already on and we're like, wait, what? You know? So anyway, I know. Yeah. So it's a hard day, but you know, we are still alive. We still have breath in our lungs and you know, we need to keep pressing on and you know, do our best to make this world a better place, right? I mean, that's what that, that's what I love about art. That's what I love about, you know, creating. Like, you know, we're here to spread love, spread beauty, um, you know, be be peaceful and be peacemakers. And so, yeah, let's focus on that today. You with me? Yeah. All right. Oh, Linda, you just dropped off your daughter at pre-k oh yeah see exactly like we all remember exactly where we were i know i know all right well you know on that note of just kind of being in a reflective mood um yeah let's just go ahead and paint and i know today's prompt of corn has nothing to do with september 11 but like i said it's about being lost in the act of creating and just enjoying every moment of it so i hope you do and thanks for being here and i'll see you in a little bit okay <laughs>
everyone. Thanks for joining again. Oh man, okay, the chat really blew up. <laughs> um, uh, hi, Reina. Oh, thank you. Nice corn. You're painting along for your alphabet super set 26 week creative challenge. Wow, 26 weeks. That's half the year. Oh my. Um, yeah. Okay, so Reina, so you were supposed to be in a plane that day. Oh my gosh. But you had a gut feeling to prepone or postpone your flight a few days before and you were shocked to see the television heartache i know wow so i'm so glad obviously you know you wouldn't be here with us maybe if you were on that plane um wow yeah yeah and like it's it, it's hard to explain like exactly what that feeling was you know unless you were there um yeah well, I'm so glad you are here and living your best life, I'm sure. Um, yeah, well, I am just about done with my corn. I was a little bit, um, a little nervous about how it was going to turn out. The, I'll, just, I'll just be honest. And it, it mostly because it had been a while since I painted. And right now, even right now, I'm kind of feeling this itch of like, Ooh, I want to add a little bit more detail to these leaves or something. So I'm gonna don't hate me. Okay. I just feel like I need to separate this, these two leaves. So I'm just going to add a little white detail there. Okay. That's it. <laughs> just a little white there. And then just a little white there just to, just to separate the two leaves. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then maybe just, I don't know, a highlight or something. I know it feels weird to put a highlight on a leaf, but I don't know. I think it's okay. I mean, it's your painting. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. So you add white highlights wherever you want it. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. All right, yeah, just like a little bit. I just feel like the leaves were a little a little dull. So I think this helps just kind of make them pop just a little bit. Right? I mean, look at that. Just a little bit makes such a huge difference. Okay. Oh, Rena, your 26 weeks is a double 100 day project. Oh, okay. So it's an art once a week commitment. Okay. It doesn't sound too crazy. That's, that's pretty doable. That's not bad. So, okay. Yeah. I was a little nervous because it had been a while since I painted. And then plus I was using watercolor pencils to add details and I, you know, sharpened them as best as I could. And I was adding these details and then maybe because the the corn themselves were just one even flat wash like i don't know that that's the watercolorist in me right the watercolorist in me is like wait i need some dimension and then so i started adding like a darker shadowy area here but then it still looked a little off you know so then i don't know if you guys caught me but i was using my wet brush and picking up the color directly from the pencil so as long as you're using watercolor pencils you can do that so that's so cool so let me show you so you just have a wet brush like a semi-wet brush and then just take that wet brush and you know go over the colored part of the pencil and then wow like look at that color transfer right i love watercolor pencils that way and it's one of the most unique ways to use this I didn't have enough water on that one, but yeah. And then this color, it's a great way to like swatch it. And then the cool thing about this is that, um, I don't know if you also cut it earlier, but while these are still wet, you can go in there with your watercolor pencil and, um, and then it'll create an even more pigmented, pigmented color. So look at that, like it's so dark, right? But if I, and then, and then just look at this. So it's so much darker, so much more pigmented. Like it's it's very creamy. Like when you when you draw into water. It's 
It's really cool. I would really recommend playing around with color pencils, watercolor color pencils, um, when you get a chance because it it really is fun to sketch with first of all but it's also fun to um uh, just add details and then just feeling like the difference between regular color pencils and a watercolor ones just feeling that creaminess and feeling like it's almost like melting into the water like it's so cool yeah all right oh rena you do that too yes you love the creamy texture i know yeah um okay well that is that and that is it for today um i only used my size two round brush today so if you want to go ahead and close out today's session wash out your brush inhale and then exhale as you blot and then take a moment to say some affirmations so here we go here we go inhale and exhale Right. and take a moment to say some affirmations. That wraps up day 71 of my watercolor mindfulness project. Wow. Like this sketchbook is literally just all fruits and vegetables. Ah! <laughs> and the good part is the rest of the month, I was able to find more fruits and vegetables to paint. So I'm going to keep this theme going. Although I'll admit going into October, I don't know if I'll have any more prompts. Like I really dug as deep as I could to find new ones to paint like not just new ones just for the sake of new ones but new ones that have like interesting color or interesting texture or shape or something you know because there are a lot of fruits and vegetables that kind of look the same you know and i didn't want to do something um that was like too plain or something like that like no offense but yeah so i'm thinking of like great what do i do for october november and december because i'm pretty sure my prompts are going to run through the end of the year so let me know in the comments or in the chat what you think i should paint i was thinking of like herbs um, I was thinking about flowers, but I was like, I want to keep painting with gouache. So I want to keep the shapes kind of like simple. So I thought about gouache, uh, not gouache, herbs. Or if I were going to do florals, I was going to try to um, like put it in a pattern, you know, so just like I, I did with the with the fruits but then put flowers in a pattern but really simplify them like really really simplify the floral shapes so yeah my brain's kind of like spinning about what to do but we'll see yeah um one more note before you go so my shop is opening so so soon it's opening in eight days eight days Bye so um if you want to like learn more about it you know just let me know in the comment or let me know in the chat and i'll send you a link to sign up because tomorrow you will be able to preview my entire shop yes you'll be able to preview it so you can't purchase just yet but you can preview it you can add items to your wish list and yeah it's gonna be so good i have like over like 150 products on there and a lot of them feature the paintings that you've seen here and i've even created a little desktop calendar like look how cute this is i am just in love and so um i already peeled off the first page but basically all the pages are going to be glued together so you don't lose any of them and then you'll be able to when the month is over just kind of like peel it off again like i said i already peeled this one off but you know these are all attached and so you can just peel one off at a time you can slide it onto this little wooden base and then 
decorate your office or your home give this to a teacher friend or you know um, a girl boss or i guess guy boss do we call them that too <laughs> um this will make a great gift for 2024 so if you're thinking about the holidays already or birthdays yeah think about it da, 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 da. anyway thank you so much um all right. Oh, thanks, Rena. You want to link to your wish list? Okay, I will definitely make sure that you get one. So thank you again so much, you guys. And this week I'll be live a lot. I'll be live Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I want to say. Let me just double check. Um. Yep. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I will see you then. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um. Don't let the blues get to you. Um. You know, allow yourself to feel sadness, but also to feel happiness and contentment too. So thank you. Have a good night. Bye.